vibing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Hey, what's going on fellow members of the Prank Squad? It's your boy Cole here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys something new. Now, since I live in Florida, I'm going to be teaching you guys this tip because it's hurricane season. But anybody else who might be, they don't have enough money or whatever it is, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a speaker at home with basically nothing. Well, obviously you have to have something you want to play the music through, like a phone. But um, basically, you need nothing. So for this, for the purposes of this video, I've shut all electricity off in my room, so that's why it's dark. Um, and all I have is natural light, and that's all you need: natural light, a cord, and your phone. And what I'm going to be teaching you how to do is make a speaker that goes through the TV using no electricity. All electricity is shut off in my room. All right, so here we go. Let's jump right into the video. All you need for this is a phone any kind of auxiliary cord, it could be headphones, um, aux cord, whatever, anything that plugs into your phone. Now, it cannot be a phone charger, it has to go into the headphone jack, because that's the only way you can transfer music. And then, the last thing you need where I put it, is any kind of rod or metal, anything that can capture sunlight. Now, you might think that's a, that's a weird combination of things, but you're going to see how this all goes together in just a minute. So, here we go. Alright, so this is the view of my window. So all you need is your window. I also forgot you need somewhere where you can get sunlight so you can also do this outside. But I doubt you'll have anything to play it on outside. So what we're going to do is take your metal rod, stick it anywhere there's sunlight. So right about there, looks like we're going to hit some dark sunlight. So we're right in the sunlight there. Alright, so that's the first step. Next step is you want to grab your auxiliary cord, whatever you're using, headphones, and what for right now you're going to leave it unplugged into anything. So what you want to do, and you can also do this before if you want, but you want to take it, put it around the tip, make sure it's on there good around the tip, and wrap it. Now only wrap it about twice because, it's, see this cord doesn't fit exactly right. But don't wrap it too much because you're gonna have to take the tip of it and put it to your TV in a second. So it's hard to get it to stay, but it needs to be in that direct sunlight. So once you do that, you should have one wrapped, one end wrapped, like you can see there. Here, I'll zoom in for you guys. Here, let me. So you can have one end wrapped just like that. Oh, it's kind of out of the sunlight. There we go. It's directly in. Then you want to grab your phone, take the end of your phone and plug it in like that see my phone is lit up now that it's plugged in now this is not charging it, I'm not teaching you how to charge it, that's a different video and it's basically the same method but I'm gonna make a different video on that so now you have your phone plugged into here um, you have your direct sunlight so what is the next step? so I'm gonna have to cut the camera I'm gonna teach you the very last final step so once again let me just review real quick, get your pole into the sunlight Get the auxiliary cord or whatever you're using wrapped around the pole. Auxiliary cord works best because you have two outputs. Plug it into your phone and then we're going to do this last and final step. Okay, so owing to the fact that my TV is like right next to my window, I'll be lucky enough that this will reach. So what you're going to want to do is make sure it's close enough. So I just wanted to show you guys that I just adjusted it over. Um, the end of this, if you have a pointy end or if it's headphones, now if you're using an auxiliary cord and the end's pointy, it doesn't really matter where it points because the next port is going to all be balanced and you might need some other things, but mine is on a windowsill so it's going to balance just nicely. So I'm going to show you the next step of this. Okay, so this next part is really tricky. What you want to do is make sure that your pole runs right under the basis of the TV. It doesn't really matter where it is, right under, and then that your wires wrapped around and your phone sits right on top of the pole. So now I'm going to explain the chemical reaction that's about to happen. Alright, I'm sorry the lighting's weird, but I just finished the video. As you can see, the pole is still there. I moved the pole. The breaker still flipped on my switch on my room, so there's no power in my room still. But um, basically, I wanted to explain real quick the chemical reaction. So basically, the pole would touch the sunlight. And as you will see, I explained the wire and the um, foam must be touching the pole. And you have to put it directly under the TV to where like all the ports are. And basically, now all wires are made conductive, which means the static comes up from, it rises from the wire and looks into anything else that's conductive. So most TVs are conductive, and this might not work for some of you. But most TVs are conductive, so you, they just conduct up 
and go into the TV and you'll have just enough power so the output of your phone playing music is into the TV. So I just wanted to explain that real quick. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hopefully you have your very own speaker using no power at all except for your phone. Alright, enjoy the rest of the video guys. Alright guys, so once you're done with that, make sure that everything's touching. It's very important that your phone sits and rests on it just like that one you want it to play the music and that the wire is touching as I explained to you. So what you want to do is pick your phone up, go into whatever music app, I use SoundCloud, and then we'll just play Wii by Teo. First thing that comes up, place it down. You hear that? It's very, very quiet because it's just enough. So let me, I'm gonna adjust the pole a little bit. Okay, you can try it. Now you might blow it and you might blow your wire out. So don't be careful when you're adjusting this. And I'll show you how I'm actually playing real music. Playing through right now, you can see the time. Now what I'm gonna try to do is adjust the volume without knocking it off. Being very careful, be very, very careful when you're doing this. Oh, okay, my pole just shifted, but it seems like, there it is. And there you go, your very own speaker using the pole method and your phone. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. I need to go turn my power back on and I also need to explain how I did this with the chemical reaction. But you can hear my music from my TV is still playing. Quick disclaimer, you cannot control the volume using the TV remote because remember, your TV is only getting conductive energy from your phone in the pole. But yeah, this is basically your very own solar speaker. I'm going to be teaching you very soon how to do it. Um, how to charge your phone like that, also how to do a Bluetooth speaker. Stay tuned, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Try it down below in the comments, let me know how it went. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was something I learned how to do on my own. Um, and I learned this in science, I learned about the conductive wires and I thought about it and I was like, what if we put solar power and conductive energy together? And bam, now you have your very own speaker. Hope you guys enjoyed, this has been Cole. Thank you, Prank Squad out. Yeah.